I want to make a separate tutorial about chain shoot or shroot. This is the correct timing because in Arco Linux D in phase 5 we have now lots of tutorials how to install Arch Linux on our system and at some point in time in this installation I think it's in number 5 at actual installation phase 1 we are using the in the Arch Wiki we're using here the shroot you need to shoot root in the Arch uh, in your uh, hard disk in your MNT folder so the thing is this shrew thing is uh, very helpful it's not just for installation it's also for later on so let's uh, get into the detail of things so to change the root is an operation that changes the parent root directory for the current running process and their children so what we did in here is actually move into the future Linux system that's what we did with this line but if Linux, if Arch Linux is broken, Arch Linux, I say specifically Arch Linux, that includes Manjaro, that includes Antergos, that includes Arco Linux, that includes Arch Labs, that includes all Arch based distros out there, we can use this same reasoning or the same way of working. Changing the root is commonly done for performing system maintenance on systems where booting, logging, is no longer possible. Yes, we can fix Arch Linux always. There is nothing we cannot do. We can always fix Arch Linux. The thing is, why would we use change root? You did something in regard with the bootloader and you fixed things, you tried something out and it's not working anymore. No, not booting from your system it's broken you want to rebuild init ram fs file system manage image you want to upgrade downgrade packages you change something in the packet pacman.com it's com completely wrong you've added or deleted packages you can do it again or you forgot the password so all of these things are um, interesting so let's do it let's do it and let's show you how interesting it is it is really so super F7, we have the virtual box ready. Let's assume that our XFCE here is broken. What you do, if you have a SSD or hard disk, you pop in the USB with Arco Linux. In my case, I'm gonna pop in the ISO of Arch Linux and I boot from it. So it's going to be the same screen and you have to boot with um, UEFI in this case because we have made a tutorial for the newest main motherboards, which often have EFI and not MBR anymore. And we're going to boot from there. So the same applies for the SSDs and the hard disk. You write your image or you download your image from Arch Linux, burn it on a USB. There is MinStick, there is Etcher, and then the image is on the USB. Make sure you set your BIOS or your EFI settings properly set so you can boot from the USB. And then we're off to install it. This is normally a normal, I mean, um, booting Arch Linux in VirtualBox takes a while, at, but then suddenly it kicks in and that's a right about now. Okay, great timing. Thank you. It boots up your Arch Linux USB and we're going to show you what you need to do. So, LS and the block devices. So we have a SDA and we have three partitions on that SDA. What went wrong? You did something, I don't know what you did. What you need to do is to mount these three partitions. Actually, one is already enough, maybe two, I don't know what you did. So let's mount everything like we uh, supposed to do so something has gone wrong and you need to mount well I have my load keys issues again you don't uh, need to do it maybe if you're in uh, US uh, if you have a US keyboard you don't need to change your keyboard otherwise go check out the tutorial on Arco Linux D how to change your keyboard to, to German, for instance, DE, 
dash uh, Latin one. That's German. So I have my AZ keys now, and then I'm gonna mount a device called SDA three. First, that one because that one is well. You need to know, and if you don't know, you have to read CF disk SDA one is EFI, SDA2 is Linux swap, and SDA3 is our Linux file system or our root. So now you're following along. So this information here gives us some information, but not all of it. So I know, of course, by heart what I did to my system. And we're going to mount device SDA3 to MNT. So that's our root. Root comes first. Done. Then I'm gonna mount my SDA because maybe I did something wrong with the EFI, so the booter, the bootloader and all that, maybe that's wrong. And I'm gonna mount it in here, in the folder boot. Swap is normally not necessary, but um, if you want, well, I suppose it won't hurt. Swap, what is it again? Swap on device SDA2. So that's our swap, not necessary, I think. Anyway, here it comes. We're gonna arch root into MNT. MNT is my SDA3, it's, it's my Linux system. It's complete Linux system and inside SDA3, I have mounted my partition SDA1 inside the folder boot. So the color changed. We are now in my hard disk. This is my SSD hard disk, or in this case, my virtual box. And anything works, so if you can, if you want to update the system here, you can do so. Everything will work. We can, I don't know, uh, minus R, let's see, Firefox is, is uh, bad, so we're gonna uninstall it. And that's that. We can install stuff as well. We can install stuff. Um, I have three browsers already, so I won't know what to install anymore. But any package is okay. See matrix is that's installed, you know. Okay, it's installed, but okay, you can do anything you like here. You can also, for instance, take a look at system CTL and see what the status is of a particular thing, like um, light DM service, running and shoot, ignoring request status. We can't do that. But we could, for instance, if something went wrong with it, we can enable it again. So to be sure that it's on uh, for next time when we reboot we, or we forgot something to, to uh, uh, put in there, then we can do it here. So that's the power of our uh, change route. We are working on the hard disk that has been that crashed. And that's why we change route into the hard disk and do our stuff. And now we get out again with exit like so and now we unmount minus a so unmount everything that was we mounted so three things actually and then it's time to reboot now rebooting is maybe not a good uh, idea so Control f let's quit the virtual box that's a better option because we need to get rid of this iso otherwise we'll boot in the usb again so now we're gonna see what happened to our system can we boot or not? I did, we did not do anything really, so there should be no problem. And we're right back into Arch Linux XFCE with all the settings we just changed. And Variety is providing us with a nice wallpaper. Okay, that's it for me. Um, I hope you understand the power of uh, change root. And if something does go wrong in the future, try it out.